How, how did you work with the director to establish the relationship among yourselves? Well, I mean, the first, pretty much the first day that we got there, we um, went to this like war room type thing. We went over the whole entire script. So it was just about us getting comfortable with each other and I think with our characters. And, and Rob gave us a lot of freedom to um, sort of change something if we didn't like it and just make it more natural. Yeah. Rob talks to you as a friend, so he's really honest with you. So I think that really helps the relationship. And also how kind and relaxed he is all the time makes you want to work harder for him. Which is unusual because considering the film and the effects. It's exactly. crazy that he never snapped at anyone. You never, <coughs> never, never once, never you know, it looked. Once. Yeah, you never see him he's stressed the out. He's relaxed guy. Yeah, ever. he's so relaxed, and he's the amount of pressure he has on him is insane, and you don't even realize it. Doesn't he's, show it. Yeah. All of each of you, your characters have a very different background that I think determines who they are at the time. Like, like you, you come from New York. You're a little the outsider in mm -hmm. school and you have a, a very particular mm -hmm. situation, but we don't want to discover. Yes, we don't. So how much does all these things determine who you are within the story? Well, I think for Champ, he doesn't have a lot of friends. Um, he's sort of a loner, I guess, but he doesn't really care. He just, uh, he's just himself, which I think is great. Yeah, uh, I think Hannah, because she's homeschooled her whole life, um, and her dad kind of keeps her away, doesn't want her to interact with other kids when Zach moves in next door. It's so exciting for her, and she's kind of really hungry to make a friend. And she is, yeah, they're fighting monsters, and it's kind of a life-threatening situation. But in a way, she's really excited to just bond with people. Yeah, and, and <coughs> Zach, uh, do you feel like, uh, well, now I have to talk, or no? Yeah. I'm well, hey, I'm, <laughs> oh my I'm God, not talking. Have to say something. So the funny. next question. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, please say something. No, I was just going to say that, that Zach, um, he, uh, he, he's going through it. He's going through a tough time, and he doesn't show it though. He kind of, he blocks it with sarcasm and puts up a wall to other people. But Hannah breaks down that wall and. And he likes that. That's why he wants to help her when he thinks something's wrong. And, uh, uh, for me, it's amazing to be able, because I'm infantile a little. Yeah. I'm old, but I'm not that old. So okay. opening a book and having all this world, I, I thought it was amazing. Yeah. How was it being part of it? And uh, would you like it if that would be real? But with yeah. cool monsters, if you know? If they were cool, <laughs> if we could yeah. kick it with them, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you think that uh, all these monsters, are a, they're a metaphor for whatever teenagers go through pain, growing pains and, you know, teena they all say, oh, teenagers are horrible, they're so rude, whatever, they go through Yeah, but you stuff. see, you know, Zach is such a brave, passionate guy yeah. and also, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Zach, um, <laughs> no, but you see, you know, teenagers aren't dumb and they're not complaining all the time. There are many times where instead of, you know, uh, Stein taking action. He's supposed to be the smart adult who has the answers to everything. The teenagers take action. So. And that's what I love, and especially the three of you. The other thing I liked is that he's the scary cat, and and the girl is like, thank you. Get it. You know, it's yeah, like, thank you. We need more like, of that in films because that's a lot of times that's how it is in real life. Yeah, you think uh, girls are a stereotype in films? For sure, yeah. for films, for books, for a lot of things they show that the girl's kind of the damsel in distress and she needs saving and mm -hmm. you know and it also shows for guys you don't have to be brave all the time where no one's going to judge you there are many times i feel like guys want to cry or they're scared and they have to hide it and oh dylan oh it's okay that's cool you're gonna make me yeah. cry actually i'm very oh, sensitive no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but no wait to hide um, it. Uh, Jack Black. I want to say it's the first time that I was scared by Jack Black in a movie. He was scary. Yeah. He's always friendlier. Uh, he plays friendlier, but he was scared when he knocks the door on you. And uh, yeah. how was he? Was he always on a on a dog, uh, Stein or was he Jack Black? He was definitely himself when he was filming. But you wouldn't um, immediately assume that he would play this role if you were reading about the character. Uh, but that's why it was a perfect role for him to play because he hasn't done a movie like this in a long time. It's, it's really cool. Okay, last question. You're very young. What, what, what are you doing here doing all these movies? What happened when you were younger? No, no one else would hire me. Starbucks <laughs> yeah. wasn't hiring. So. Thought might as well be an actor. Yeah. No, but tell me how, what happened. Like you decided. I know you come from different experiences, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. Um, for me, I was in Austin, Texas, and I just I did an acting camp. Didn't think anything of it. and. 
stuck with it, and then things started happening. I was like, hey, this is sweet. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you I, started in yeah. Israel, I think. I started in Israel. I would. I didn't professionally act, but I wrote plays with my younger brothers, and I would always film stuff, and I've always been into writing and directing. Yeah. My story's pretty long and boring. <laughs> uh, no, I'll just say that it's my... My, my, when I was little, respect your life. Yeah, respect thank you, thank you. I, I uh, my dad would entertain me by putting on a video camera, and I'd watch myself on the TV. And then this convention with agents rolled through town, and I was six and went, and an agent signed me, and twelve years later, here I am.